The best way to enter Kinshasa is by air. Kinshasa Airport, located outside the city, is becoming one of the busiest in Central Africa with flights in and out from different parts of the world. Most of the key administration buildings, embassies and offices of international organizations lie at the center. Apart from the variety of architectural styles in Kinshasa, high-rise apartment blocks, luxuriously appointed banks, stores and the offices of large corporations and government agencies that characterize the center of town, the city is filled with monuments of all types. Among them is this statue and mausoleum of Laurent Kabila, assassinated president of Democratic Republic of Congo. Towering in the middle of a traffic circle in Kinshasa is a 25-foot-tall statue of a bald-headed, door-looking Laurent Desele Kabila, former leader of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, who was assassinated in 2001. With his finger raised to the sky, a small book grasped in his left hand, and dressed in pleated military slacks and button-up, the statue built in 2002 is among the notable structures in Kinshasa city. A few meters behind is the tomb of former president Lohan Kabila, who died at 62 years in 2001. It is worth seeing. Although reaching it involves passing through several layers of security in the middle of Kinshasa's main government and diplomatic quarter, the statue was built by a group of North Korean artisans who work abroad as the Mansudea Overseas Project and is among dozens of monuments the North Koreans built throughout Africa. Mansudea projects have been built in at least 17 countries in Africa that include Angola, Algeria, Benin, Botswana, Chad, Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Mali, Mozambique, Namibia, Senegal, Togo and Zimbabwe. The company uses North Korean artists, engineers and construction workers. In Angola, Mansudeo Overseas Projects constructed the President Agontiho Neto Cultural Center in Luanda. In Benin, they built a statue of Behazin who is considered to be the 11th King of Dahomey, modern day Republic of Benin. In Botswana, they constructed the Three Digosi Monument, also called the Three Chiefs Monument. In Ethiopia, they built the Tiglachin Monument, also known as the Dag Monument, a 50-meter tall or 160-feet pillar erected in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in 1984. In Mozambique, Mansudia Overseas Project constructed the Samora Macho Statue in Independence Square, Maputo in 2011. While Namibia is the only country to have commissioned four public works by Mansudea Overseas Projects in Senegal, the company built the African Renaissance Monument. In the north of Togo, close to the village of Sarakawa, a monument was erected with a huge statue of the late President Gansingbe Eadema. In Zimbabwe, the Joshua Nkomo statue was constructed in 2010 in Bulawayo. And in Democratic Republic of the Congo, a statue of Luhan Desire Kabila was a Congolese revolutionary and politician who was the third president of the Democratic Republic of the Congo from 1997 until his assassination in 2001. A long-time opponent of Mobutu Sese Seko, he led the Alliance of Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Congo, a rebel group that invaded Zaire and overthrew Mobutu during the First Congo War from 1996 to 1997. He became the first president of the country whose name was changed back to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. He was later assassinated by one of his bodyguards and was succeeded 10 days later by his 29-year-old son, Joseph Kabila.